Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, atomic structure. And so far we have discussed about uh, various uh, atomic models, you know, starting from uh, Dalton's atomic theory, Thomson's model, Rutherford's model, Chadwick's model, Bohr's model. Then we discussed about the de Broglie's hypothesis related to wave and particle nature of electron, dual nature of electron and then we discussed about Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, so far all these things that we have discussed, they were able to explain the overall structure, uh, the uh, giving, giving us a approximate model a visualization related to how the internal structure of the atom really is okay so then we reached until Bohr's model where we got into the conclusion that the three subatomic particles electrons protons neutrons are arranged as protons and neutrons in the nucleus contributing to most of the mass of the atom, occupying very less space as compared to the overall size of the atom is concerned and the electrons they revolved around the nucleus in fixed designated orbits. But when an explanation was required to why they occupied fixed orbits and there was no logical explanation as per Bohr's theory de Broglie hypothesis and a Heisenberg uncertainty principle, they gave us information that electron is actually exhibiting wave-like properties and each electron it behaves as a stationary wave with its wavelength occupying the total circumference of the circular orbit. And when the same discussion is understood with respect to Heisenberg uncertainty principle, we found out that it is impossible to find out the exact location of the electron around the nucleus. So the, the assumption of as per Bohr's theory that electrons they revolve around the nucleus in well-defined designated fixed circular paths that is not correct. So in order to explain uh, the whole thing related to uh, the movement of the electrons around the nucleus and uh, how Heisenberg uncertainty principle stated that electron exhibiting wave-like properties behaving like a stationary wave we cannot determine its location the modern model of the atom it was given by Erwin Schrodinger which is based on the principle of probability it tried to explain uh, the movement of the electrons around the atom. So this model was very much similar to Bohr's model as far as the other postulates are concerned that is nucleus electrons orbiting around the uh, nucleus and so that that part of circular pathways that was the only difference between the modern model that is the Schrodinger model and Bohr's model. So the assumption that the electrons they have fixed energies that was true but as far as the, the, the circular pathways, the circular orbits are concerned that was the difference between Schrodinger model and Bohr's model. Here as per the Schrodinger's model we can only determine the probability of locating an electron with a probable velocity and energy in a three-dimensional region, a three-dimensional space at any given point of time. And it is with the help of the wave function or the amplitude of the wave, psi, which gives us the probability of finding an electron in a given region of space around the nucleus. Okay, so we can only find out the region in space and say that probably the electron occupies one of the spots in this space. We cannot say exactly where but only 
we can say that this is the search space this is the sample space and the electron must be anywhere in this space anywhere in this space but not we cannot exactly say where but we can say that it might be occupying any given point in this space and that space is called as an atomic orbital so here the shift happens okay instead of the circular orbit concept where we know exactly where the electron is located as per Bohr's theory as per Bohr's postulate we can exactly determine where the ex uh, electron is orbiting in specifically which orbit here the focus shifted from orbit to orbital which is a three-dimensional space and here the electron can be anywhere in this blue space in this blue region the electron can be anywhere it can be anywhere we can only say uh, we can only determine the probability of finding out the electron and as per Bohr's theory the electron has more probability of being found in this deep blue space okay so this is all done with respect to Schrodinger's uh, equation describing wave motion so this fundamental equation which describes the behavior of a small particle in this case the electron in terms of its wave motion is the double derivative of the wave function psi which is equal to del, uh, d square psi by dx square in terms of the position which is equal to minus 4 pi square psi by lambda square or we can say 1 by lambda square is, is equal to minus d square psi by dx square into 1 by 4 pi square psi. So the Schrodinger's wave equation, the final, will do the derivation in some other video. So Schrodinger wave equation, it can be expressed as d square psi by dx square plus 8 pi square m by h square into e minus v psi is equal to 0. Where psi is the amplitude of the wave, lambda is the wavelength, h is Planck's constant, m is mass and uh, E is the total energy means kinetic energy plus potential energy and V is the potential energy okay so these are the uh, what these all these symbol means okay the notations so here the concept of atomic orbitals come into play instead of uh, the atomic and uh, the orbit circular orbit approach in Bohr's theory in the Schrodinger's atomic theory the concept of atomic orbitals come into play so here as per the Schrodinger's model the electrons they do not occupy circular orbits but atomic orbitals an orbital is basically a three-dimensional region in space around the nucleus okay around the nucleus with the nucleus at the center and there is a three-dimensional space you can imagine a sphere here okay instead of a circle we can imagine a sphere so the electron can occupy any space within the sphere okay and this whole concept is based on probability okay the probability of finding an electron in that region in that three-dimensional region around the nucleus so for this the concept of a probability map was created to predict where the electron is most likely to be found okay and it was determined that depending on uh, this the electron is has higher probability of being found in this innermost region in this blue space uh, probably 80 to 90 percent than this light blue space okay so this is the whole concept of atomic orbitals now there is much more to it uh, orbitals subshells principal quantum number uh, all those things uh, there are uh, we will we'll explain that in a new video in a separate video where we'll, we will discuss more in detail about orbitals subshells how the electrons they uh, they they how can we exactly determine the location of the electron in terms of the various uh, numbers or in terms of orbitals subshells values exclusion principle there is much more to it so we'll discuss it in a separate video but here just i wanted to make you understand the modern approach uh, related to the atomic structure so if we try to understand uh, the chronology 
in terms of the various theories that were put forward related to atomic structure starting from dalton's atomic theory when that was first proposed there was no concept of positive and negative charge or nucleus or anything like that atom was the smallest particle and it was no further divisible then after dalton's atomic theory thomson's model came into play where the concept of positive and negative charge was there atom was considered to be a sphere of positive charge in which negatively charged electrons were embedded like plums or raisins in a pudding then rutherford's model came from the alpha ray scattering experiment where the concept of nucleus first came into play where the protons or the positively charged nucleus are present uh, are present in the nucleus which is the core or the center of the atom occupying most of the mass uh, containing most of the mass and occupying very less space and chadwick's model gave us information about neutrons neutral particles having no charge then bohr's model came into play which has more or less the same things as rutherford and chadwick but gave extra information about the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus in certain well defined circular orbits but as per de broglie's hypothesis and uncertainty principle that was not correct and we found the modern approach as per schrodinger's model in terms of wave function or the amplitude of the wave which gave us the concept of atomic orbitals okay electrons not occupying circular orbits but atomic orbitals which is a three dimensional region in space instead of a 2d approach we went to a three dimensional 3d approach okay so this is the whole thing related to the modern model of the atom so i hope you like this video and in another video we'll derive this whole uh, thing the schrodinger's wave equation so that will be done in a separate video so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much